Former Democratic Senator of Missouri Claire McCaskill is a former Democratic Senator because she lost her bid for re-election in November. She is a corporate Democrat, ran on very boring centrist ideas, and she lost her race. She didn't lose because she didn't have any money to run like a lot of progressives uh, that did lose in the midterms, didn't have the financial support because they don't take big donor money, they don't take corporate money. No, Claire McCaskill in Missouri is a household name, and she has the money. She had the money needed to uh, win that election, yet she lost. She lost because her ideas sucked. People in her state did not like her. So when I saw this video of her being confused by Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and her success, it made me laugh. Watch. What about people like the new New York Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez? Is she a crazy Democrat? Uh, I, I don't know her. I'm, I'm a little confused why she's the thing. But it's a good example of what I'm talking about. A bright and shiny new object. Um, came out of nowhere and surprised people when she beat uh, a very experienced congressman. And so she's now um, talked about a lot. I'm not sure what she's done yet to generate that, that kind of enthusiasm, but I, ho I wish her well. I hope she hangs the moon, but I hope she also realizes that m the parts of the country that are rejecting the Democratic Party, um, like a whole lot of white working class voters, uh, need to hear about how their work is gonna be respected and the dignity of their jobs and how we can um, really stick to issues that we can actually accomplish something on. The rhetoric's cheap. Getting results is a lot harder. So, <laughs> I really hope this is the last time I'll ever have to discuss Claire McCaskill because she is really insignificant. There was no reason for her to be in this interview. The only reason I'm covering her is because this, uh, this made headlines, her attacking Ocasio-Cortez. And I want people, I want to make sure people understand how wrong Claire McCaskill is and how dismissive she was in this clip. So quotes like, uh, Ocasio-Cortez is a, is a bright and shiny new object. She's uh, confused why she is the thing. I'm not sure what she's done. She beat a Democratic leader in the House. That's what Ocasio-Cortez did. What did you do? You lost on some centrist, boring, corporate-funded ideas. This quote, I hope she realizes parts of the country that are rejecting the Democratic Party, white working-class voters, Ocasio-Cortez's message is universal. A higher minimum wage. College for all. These are uh, Medicare for all. These are not policies that only target, you know, black people or women or Muslims. These are universal programs that benefit everyone. That's what people like Claire McCaskill don't get. That's why when you look at polling on these issues, like polling on Medicare for all, it is incredibly popular, popular with more than half the country, even with Republicans. 52% of Republicans support Medicare for all. That shows you that it's about the policies. But Claire McCaskill is too stupid to even realize that. She's like, people have this idea. I see it in my comments all the time that, oh, no, these corporate Democrats, they're completely aware that they're frauds, but they're just paid to lose. It's that's not really true. I mean, it may be a combination of that, but Claire McCaskill believes her bullshit. She believes what she is saying. She lost. She has no reason to lie now. She believes her bullshit. So understand here. Sure, maybe these corporate Democrats are funded to lose, but the Democrats like that are that are in that position, like Claire McCaskill, don't realize that they are pawns. They have no idea. Now I mean, apart from McCaskill, look at the other losses by centrists in November. Joe Donnelly in Indiana, lost. Phil Bred uh, Bredesen in Tennessee, lost. Heidi Heitkamp in North Dakota, lost. Claire McCaskill, of course, Missouri, lost. These are all centrist, corporate-funded Democrats, all lost their Senate races. But somehow it's the progressives that are being unrealistic. It's the progressives that don't know how to win. Complete and utter bullshit. Now... I saw a great uh, series of tweets here from um, author and NBC political analyst Anand Giridardas. And uh, this is a guy who is oftentimes on MSNBC and surprisingly does, in fact, know what he is talking about. So let me share these tweets. 
McCaskill's generation of Democrats would do well to muster curiosity about the appeal of figures like AOC and the defection of some of their loyalists to Donald Trump. In her daily interview, she was smug about the purists, but maybe they are telling you something. For my book, I spent more than an hour with Bill Clinton in 2017. I pushed him to reflect on how the Clintons consorting with the plutocrats and making so much money had hurt them, even if it was legit. I found no curiosity about the question, about what he may have failed to see. That is my point here. The Trump era should be an invitation to real curiosity among Democrats, and there is a great promise for the curious. Casual slights of people who actually connect in this new era and have the bravery to walk away from big money are self-defeating. Perfect. This is the perfect series of tweets, and I'm so happy that 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 uh, Anand Giridharas is the one to tweet this out because people that that listen to him or that may listen to him, someone like Amika Brzezinski or Joe Scarborough, need to understand that there is p- people that lost like Claire McCaskill or Joe Donnelly or these other centrist corporates. They should be looking at people like AOC and thinking, okay, what did she do right? How did she win? Or or why is Bernie so popular uh, among the entire country? Why are, these po- why are these people popular? And then look at their policies. Hey, why is Medicare for All so popular? Why is Medicare for All polling even over 50% among Republicans? Why is higher wages so popular? I mean, a lot of these are sort of, uh, they explain themselves, but it's amazing how many of these people don't understand how popular these policies are. And it's because they're in their bubble of this, this corporate-funded um, and the, these, these centrist ideas that are corporate funded that disconnect them from the average person. And they are instead connected to their lobbyists, to, to wealthy donors, to corporations, and they don't have the real perspective of the average American. Now, just a, one more piece on Claire McCaskill's insanity here. This tweet from uh, Walid Shahid. Senator McCaskill says Ocasio 2018 and other freshman Dems are, quote, too far left and too focused on being pure. But here's McCaskill in uh, October 29, 2018 on Migrant Caravan, quote, Stop them at the border. I do not want our borders overrun. And I support the president's efforts to make sure they're not. So let me get this straight. Claire McCaskill is a loser in the election, a loser on policy, and she's also a terrible person. Understand who these corporate Democrats are. They not only don't care about what the average person thinks, they don't look, uh, they not only don't look at polling on, on policy and what might be popular and what they should be running on, but they're also terrible people. They lack empathy. These are candidates, politicians that really should be Republicans, but they're Democrats or they were Democrats and more and more of them are being defeated in favor of a progressive agenda that actually looks after everyone. 